So for this video, let's pretend like Aegon the Conqueror never began his conquest of the Seven Kingdoms and stayed on Dragonstone. How would Westeros be different? This video, I want to focus on the North. Specifically, the Stark's North. So Aegon beginning his conquest of the Seven Kingdoms is huge. So huge that in the Seven Kingdoms they tell time as BC before conquest and AC after conquest. So a super big deal if you're telling your time by it. So how would the North be different if Aegon didn't do his conquest? The North was one of the few realms that didn't lose men and castles to Aegon the Conqueror, simply because King Stark gathered his men, went to meet Aegon on the battlefield, saw his huge-ass army and dragons, and decided, yeah, fuck this, I'll just kneel. But even though they kneeled, they still retained their customs and culture, just like Dorne did, even though Dorne did come into the realm much later. So regardless if the Targaryens started their dynasty or not, northern cultures and customs would be the same. What would be different, and I guess we could say is the first big difference, is there would no longer be kings of the north, or in the north. You can say it either way, but some people will freak out on you about it. True story, it's weird. Okay, so let's talk overall, how does the North do if Aegon just minds his own business, stays on Dragonstone, just bangs his super hot sister wives, and uh, Westeros does its own thing. The North is big, and thanks to the Starks and some strategic locations, they had been holding out invaders for a super long time, even before Aegon began his conquest. The bottleneck at the neck made it hard to enter that way, so enemies typically came to hit the north by hitting their coasts. The Ironborn had been on and off again successful in raiding the northern shores and had taken Bear Island and other areas at different times. However, before Aegon's conquest, the north had mostly gotten the upper hand and been in control with a few smackdowns of the Ironborn. We also know that the Andals hit the north's eastern coast and that Theon Stark taught them a lesson. Guy was a total psycho, even went to Andalos to slaughter them in retribution. Yeah, there were some super intense Starks. But because of the Starks' location and the bottleneck, they were one of the only kingdoms not to be conquered or successfully invaded by the Andals. Of course, we all know why they boast about having the First Men blood and the Old Gods being their gods. Though, of course, disclaimer, some Andal blood would begin to mingle with the Northerners, just not through conquest and domination. So I feel like with a high level of certainty, we can say that the Ironborn would still be hitting the Northern coasts if Aegon had not done his conquest and started the Targaryen dynasty. Even though, and I know I just said that for the most part, the North had put them in their place before Aegon began his conquest, I still think as Heron becomes stronger and stronger, which is a, a another interesting video in itself, honestly, because he's part of the, the rivers and the isles, and he was expanding, especially into the Stormlands, he was going to very soon. So it would be interesting to see if Aegon had not stopped Heron, what would have happened to the North, because the I think the Ironborn would have started hitting them again, even though, like I said, that they had pretty much smacked the Ironborn down enough. Although, and I think this is something really important to point out, I'm not saying that the Targaryens reduced the level of Ironborn attacks to zero, I'm just saying the Ironborn would have came at them a lot more had the Targaryens not started their dynasty. Of course, we know during the Targaryen dynasty there were certain points of instability, and the Ironborn took the moment to attack the coast of the Seven Kingdoms. I'm just saying, had Aegon not began the conquest and started the Targaryen dynasty, we would probably see more Ironborn attacks, and as Heron's strength built, him hitting the north harder and harder on the coast. I can honestly see Bear Island being lost again to the Ironborn and Heron taking control of it. Although overall I think the North would still remain independent, I think even if they lost Bear Island, the main 
area of the kingdom, I think they would be able to hold out Heron. You also have to realize that there were other areas had Aegon not come to the Westerlands reach that Heron would be dealing with the Stormlands, of course. So I think the North would be okay overall had Aegon even not done his conquest and dealt with Heron. So if Aegon's conquest never happened, the North remains pretty much the same, except the Starks get to keep being kings, right? Wrong. How could you forget about the others? Jesus Christ, do you even like Game of Thrones? Fucking pretender. I honestly wonder what would be worse for fighting the others. So yeah, Aegon united the Seven Kingdoms, but they were so fractured from the, the War of the Five Kings and just everything that was going on, so the people at the Wall, the Night's Watch, were pretty much on their own. Would that be different if the Starks were still kings in the North and there was no major war going on? Would other areas of the realm join in and help them? I kind of feel like things would have been easier if they were all divided versus what we got in the books. Also, if John was meant to be a savior or someone with ice and fire, couldn't some Targaryen from Dragonstone in simply one generation decide to take a Stark bride that just captivated him with her free spirit and boom, we created the savior? You, I feel like you could do any Targaryen dude or lady with any Stark uh, female or male. In the right order, obviously. The, the genitalia for pregnancy have to match up. I also wonder if we had just a, a Targaryen from Dragonstone being captivated with a, a, a Princess Stark, if uh, they would get married and create the savior, but they'd leave a goddamn note. Also, you never know, the Targaryens might actually aid the North in their fight against the others because there's not all that bad blood. So I don't know, that is my what if scenario for the North. You can let me know what you think the North would be like if Aegon had never done his conquest. I'm really interested in your guys' perspective because with what ifs, there's so many angles, there's so many possibilities and everyone thinks so differently. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. You can also like and subscribe, but you don't have to. It's a trap, don't do it.